Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full house clean, but I'm not filming in my daughter's bedroom because we are doing a makeover in her bedroom right now. So it's probably going to be a couple months before you see that video, but I'm going to start in my bedroom today, get it all nice and clean. The week that I filmed this, we were going out of town the next week, so I was trying to get the house ready because we were going to be gone for two weeks, and the time that I'm doing this voiceover, we're already back, but I had to go visit my parents because my dad was having some surgery done. He's doing better, so that's good, but we originally was going to stay for like a couple days, but my cousin ended up coming down and visiting with my dad, and I haven't seen her in over two years, so I wanted to stay and see her. I was meaning to get this video up the other day, but I unfortunately came down with a sinus infection, so I've been trying to get over that, and I finally got enough energy to do it today, so sorry that the video is kind of late. I know, I've just been really busy here lately, but if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like today's video, and thank you for joining my channel. I am still redecorating my bedroom. I'm actually getting new sheets and a new comforter here soon. I don't like the look of this one and I also want to get a new rug and I'll link those down below on what I'm actually getting. But I think I'm going for like a bohemian theme. I'm not really for sure like what it's actually called but I just want to completely do my bedroom. Ever since we got these wall sconces it has definitely changed the vibe of the room and I love it so much. I'm also putting one of my pothos plants in my bedroom because I want it to vine up the wall above my bed. I think it would look so pretty and eventually I'm getting new decorations above my bed too. So hopefully here soon I'll be getting those and redoing my whole entire bedroom. But the next bedroom to be done is Ava's because her bedroom really needs to be made over. I cannot decide on what theme I want to do for Ava's bedroom. She says that she wants to do rainbows and unicorns, so I'm probably going to end up doing that because it's what she wants, but I kind of want to do a room that will last her a while because I don't want to keep buying decorations for her bedroom, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. So I will let you guys know when I'm finished with the room. The video should be up in a couple months. I'm not really for sure right now. She's getting a new bed next month. So we will see what theme I actually end up going with.
the next room to clean in my house is my bathroom. It's been a couple days since I've last cleaned it. It really needs a deep clean, so I'm doing that today. I cannot stand when there's a bunch of stuff on countertops. I don't know, I just think it looks cluttered, but mine always ends up with a bunch of stuff on it somehow. I am cleaning my mirror with Castile Soap, the peppermint one, and it gets it all nice and clean. The next thing I'm cleaning is my sink. I'm using the Scrub Daddy Damp Duster, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, because my husband loves to leave his beard hairs all over the sink, so this works really well to get all those beard hairs off of your sink. One of my wish list cleaning tools is a scrub brush that you can use for the shower. You can honestly use it for anything. It's also for baseboards, showers, like anything. So I'm hoping when I buy that it will help with my back pain cleaning this shower. So I will let you know if it works and I'll link it down below for you guys and put a picture up in the corner so you'll know what it looks like. I will be buying it here soon so I will let you know. Next thing that I have to clean out is my cabinet underneath my sink. I haven't cleaned it out in about three months, so it was definitely time to clean it. The toilet bowl cleaner actually spilt in the bottom of it, so that was fun to find. I definitely needed to clean out this cabinet. It took me like 20 minutes just to clean it out, but I got it all nice and clean. I threw a bunch of stuff away. I've been trying to deep clean my house one room at a time, and I'm almost done. I think I have one more room to do, and then I'm done deep cleaning. I also wanted to take a moment to thank everyone that has been supporting my channel, following me, liking my videos, and commenting. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that people is actually engaging in my content, and I hope to see you in future videos.
the next thing that I had to clean is my cabinets because my toddler got toothpaste all over them and then I have to clean my baseboards. Here soon I will be getting the Rubbermaid scrub brush. It's electric. It's supposed to help you get in all of the corners because I always forget to clean my baseboards. It has been a couple months since I last cleaned them so I'm going to be trying to do them more this summer because they're just the only thing that I forget to clean. The next room that I have to clean is my kitchen and I know it's always messy. I tried to keep it clean but it never really stays clean. The oven always stays messy. I try to wipe it off before I clean but the night before this video I did not do the dishes so there's tons of dishes for me to do. The spray that I'm using for the countertops is the Peppermint Castile Soap. I love that cleaner. It cleans it so well. One of my favorite cleaners. So I just found out my favorite vacuum cleaner that I'm using right here. They do not sell it no more, so I have to find a new vacuum cleaner whenever this one breaks. I normally link it down below for you guys, but they don't sell it. I'm so sorry. But the O-Cedar mop right here, I love this one. I'll link it down below for you guys. I love that mop. But here is the finished product. It looks so clean. The next room that I have to do is clean my living room. It wasn't that messy. I just needed to fold some blankets and clean up my mess where I was repotting some plants earlier and vacuum the couch. But there wasn't that much to do in the living room. It didn't need to be dusted because I did it a couple days before. 
I still can't find the head to my vacuum cleaner that cleans my couch, so I just vacuum it this way and it's easier to do it that way. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like today's video and I will see you guys in the next video.